Uh, it certainly is quite startling news to hear of that resignation um, and we're all uh, well aware of the, uh, the difficulties that Cathay has been facing over the course of recent days. Um, it, this is a challenge for many companies and uh, I don't think it will necessarily be the last but I think uh, our advice to companies has certainly been to take a, a very neutral position to support their people in, in their, their quest to, um, to have their own opinions but also to be very careful around how those opinions might be linked to their, uh, to their company brand uh, and also to ensure that they don't do um, or partake in illegal uh, protest action which of course is, uh, is part of the issue that uh, befell the, the, the pilots in Cathay Pacific. So our message to, um, to companies is to very much um, keep uh, people's comments private and not to link them to the companies which can bring about further uh, scrutiny if you like as, as we saw with Cathay Pacific. Yeah, we also had it actually out with Disney. There's a story today, Grant, I don't know if you saw it, that the star of Mulan, the hit Disney movie, is facing a backlash in Hong Kong because apparently some pro-Hong Kong police comments she made in the media or on social media got everybody riled up here. It's easier said than done. What advice would you give to the CEO of a Hong Kong-based company or an American or British or Aussie company operating here to keep their employees from getting intertwined in the politics? I think it's a case of, uh, of, of, of encouraging their people to, first of all, not to, uh, to express their views on social media uh, and also to ensure that those views are very much uh, moderate and they're not extreme. They're, uh, they're trying to keep their views uh, that are delinked from the company position. Um, that, is, that is easier said than done and I think the issue here is that the, the higher uh, someone is in an organisation up the, uh, the senior management chain, uh, that the more difficult it is to delink those comments that they might make on social media from from the company itself. So I think uh, companies need to ensure that their people are, uh, are maintaining their uh, social media discipline uh, and certainly that they're not um, linking their comments uh, in, in any direct way to, yeah. to their company brand. That is, it is a challenge and, uh, and we've certainly had recent discussions with clients that are, are finding that uh, um, those, those people, they, they want to encourage them to have their views in, uh, in a very uh, open and democratic way but to keep them within the bounds of legality and not to partake in, in illegal protests uh, and to message that, uh, that sentiment uh, across their social media platforms. How do you see this ultimately playing out here? I think there's a feeling that maybe a hope in Beijing and in Hong Kong that when September comes around, many of the protesters here later tonight, their college students, college restarts, they will kind of fritter away and go back to school. How do you see this ending? Do you see it ending peacefully or do you see it ending with the Hong Kong police and or even the People's Liberation Army having to quell it? Well, there's obviously a lot of speculation as to what, what will occur. When will this end and how will it end? I think the important thing that we are, are saying to clients is they need to expect some degree of protest action to occur into the medium term uh, and that they should uh, um, be prepared for the managing the risks over the medium term as well. Some of them are looking much longer term now, but we're finding that, uh, that those that are, uh, are concerned about the current situation are concerned about the physical risks of business continuity. Uh, they're concerned about their people's safety. So I think um, we, we see that we're going to see some protests into the near future and they need to maintain the current status of, of caring for their yep. people, advising them uh, very cautiously about how they get involved and, uh, and ensuring that they as an organisation um, are, are, are always managing all of their risks uh, from, a, uh, from a tactical to a strategic level and we, uh, we're speaking to companies that are, are doing just that. They're, uh, they're looking at the, the mm -hmm. current situation but thinking longer term now about the long term implications.